Okay, so this is the next class. So this is class number four. So the new derivation, next derivation, that is electric potential at any point due to an electric diode. Okay, this is very important. So generally, this is a diagram here is it. So these two are the charges. Electric diode means two charges which are in opposite uh, opposite sign, and these two are separated by distance of two a. So this is minus two charge at location b. And this is plus two charge at location A. So the total distance from A to B it is two A, and distance from O to B it is A, and O to A it is A. Okay. So the line OP. So we can consider this is the point P at any point. The given condition is electric potential at any point due to electric diode. So already previous one in the last chapter we we derived the two conditions. That is generally the electric field equations. Okay, electric field. At any point, on the at any point, there is two two conditions on the equator line and the axial. Here is a one more very important concept that is electric potential due to an electric force at any point. So I consider point P here. So this is not a uh, equator line and not a axial. Okay. So this line OP which makes an angle theta to the electric diode. So let us consider consider an electric diode. Consider an electric dipole. Electric dipole separated by distance of separated by separated by a distance of separated by distance of two a. Okay, and let P is a point. P is a point. Is a point uh, at a distance of r. Uh, we can consider the distance from uh, that is p is a point at a distance of p is a point at a distance of a distance of r uh, from o from o. This is the point p which is at a distance of r uh, from the location o. Okay, so the next we see uh, the line, the line OP makes an angle, makes an angle theta. So this line OP which makes an angle theta. Okay, so there you can after the derivation you can find those two conditions, axial line and the equal line. If theta is equal to 90 degree along the equal line. If it is equal to zero degree, that is around the axis. So you can consider generally at any point. So here uh, we have to find the value of electric potential at this location due to these two charges. If charge is negative, the potential is negative. If charge is positive, the potential is positive. So we can find the value of electric potential at this location due to these two charges. And we know only about the distance that is nothing but OP distance. It is R. Okay, so here is I will find the, the condition. The electric potential at P, the electric potential, the electric potential at P due to charge, due to charge plus Q is given by. Is given by so electric potential at point P due to charge plus Q is given by. You can take V one. V one is equal to one by four pi epsilon charges plus Q. So divided by the distance nothing but a P distance. This is equation number one. So this is the potential at this location. Due to charge of plus Q, it is V1 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q divided by A. Similarly, you can find the angle locations. Angle means potential at point P due to charge minus Q. Therefore, the electric potential, the electric potential at P due to charge at P due to charge Minus Q is given by is given by so that is V two is equal to 
1 divided by 4 phi epsilon minus q you get minus a q divided by that is b p distance this is equation number so here i get minus sign because of negative charge so the potential will be negative if charge is negative potential is negative if charge is positive potential is positive so this potential due to this one is positive and potential due to this one is negative okay so first one is the the electric potential at p due to charge plus q is given by v1 is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 q divided by ap and similarly the electric potential at p due to charge minus q is given by v2 is equal to minus of 1 by 4 plus 1 q divided by v distance okay therefore the total potential therefore the total potential therefore the total potential total potential at p due to an due to an electric dipole due to an electric dipole so that is v is equal to i will write here v is equal to v1 plus v2 so this is equal to substitute the value of v1 and v2 therefore v1 is 1 divided by 4 phi is not q divided by a p plus plus is minus is there so you can get minus sign so minus of 4 phi is not q divided by distance is b a common q divided by 4 plus 1 is a common sign so this is q divided by 4 phi plus 1 into my head 1 by a p minus of 1 by b p distance this is the equation this is the equation the equation number 3 so this is the total potential at this location due to this and electro dipole it is q divided by 4 plus 1 1 by a p minus 1 by b p so here we have to find the value of AP, uh, AP and the B So next is the so the total potential that is the definition total potential total potential is V is equal to it is 2 divided by 4 by is not in bracket 1 by AP minus 1 by B so this is the equation. So from this equation find the, the distance that is A P and the B P term. Okay. So here is you can draw the perpendicular line to the uh, OP. Okay. So for the OP line, so from the A, I will draw the perpendicular line. This is the perpendicular line. It is at an angle of 90 degree. Okay. So I will say uh, it is an angle of 90 degree. So this is actually an angle. This is 90 degree. So this is equally yeah. So then the perpendicular line then is then yeah. so this is perpendicular line into the yeah. Okay. So this angle will be the same as this one. So draw the perpendicular line B and and young A from A and B along the OP. Okay. So when you write here, draw a perpendicular line. Draw a perpendicular line. Divide the perpendicular line A M and B M from from A and B along O P respectively along O P respectively. Okay, so this is this for the perpendicular line. Okay, so here consider uh, along OP, B is the perpendicular line and A M is the perpendicular line. So from this triangle, we can consider triangle B and O. Okay, from a right angle triangle, from a right angle triangle, a right angle triangle. B N O. Okay. From the right angle triangle B N O, the value of cos theta is equal to. Here is the theta is said. 
okay we can start from this side this is the which one cos function so common side is the this is the common side so therefore this is equal to n o n o divided by d o so therefore therefore uh, n o is equal to d o cos theta okay and what is the value of d o d o is nothing but a therefore let it is a so this is equal to it is a cos of t this is the value of n okay so here the value of d t is the same as n same size similarly m t is same as a t okay so first i will write the first one so this is d t so this is d t is equal to d t is same as n t so this is n t so n t can be as n o plus o t n o plus o t okay so what is the value of o t i will write first o t so in uh, n o value what is the value of n o n o is a cos bar and o t is the what is o t it is a distance from o to t so this is nothing but r value so this is a cos theta plus r this is the kinetic under equations so this is one term that is dp is equal to the value of dp this is nothing but you can get r plus you can get r plus a cos of t okay so so we will find the value of dp consider triangle this is one consider from triangle from this is also like a triangle from triangle uh, a m o from triangle a m o that is cos of theta is equal to cos of theta means here is the theta sign is here so uh, that is term cos theta is equal to from triangle a m o so theta towards which axis actually so cos theta So from triangle O A M, this is the right angle triangle. So this is the cos function. Means this is the cos function. Okay. So in in the theory, okay, this is the next one. From triangle O A M, O A M, this is the right angle triangle. So we try to find the angle. Actually, the angle. If you want to know the angle, the angle, the angle, the angle. So in a theta towards the right either, so this is cos function and this is the common side. Get that? Therefore, cos theta is equal to m o divided by uh, value o a. M o divided by o a. Or m o is equal to. Or m o is equal to nothing but o a into cos theta. So the value of o a is Value of O is A, so this is A cos of T. This is the equal sign, and therefore total length from plus charge to minus charge it is 2A again. Okay, so O to B it is A, and O to B it is A. Okay, this is also A distance. So again, here is the resistance of that is OP. OP is equal to, sorry, uh, what do you mean? Now I have to find the value of first to get the value of uh, which one? It is dp we get. Next I have to find the value of ap. So the ap is equal to, I will write here. So ap is same as, nearly same. ap is same as mp. So ap is the same as mp. So the value of mp we can get op minus of om. Okay? So AP is same as MP. I write that. So the MP distance we can get MP is equal to OP minus of OA. So what is the value of OP? OP is nothing but R. So this is the distance R minus of OA. OA is the A cos. Therefore this is equal to 
R minus of A cos of T. This is the value of A. So therefore, such should this value be seen in the equation number three. Such should the value of uh, uh, A P and B P. That is N P and M P. So to this equation. Okay. Therefore, easily we can find the value of potential. Okay. This is a clearly. So one I guess is in the middle. If you are going to find the value of 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 the value Second case is the answer factor that we have to take away OAM that is the answer How the inner cost function is the answer that is MO by OAM So you get value of MO So this is the answer that MP is equal to AP So in our next part In the value of MP is the answer that OP minus of OAM is the answer that we have to see So that is the answer Next one is C. Substitute the value of A, P, and B, P to this equation. Okay. So therefore, the B is equal to it is two divided by four pi upon into the head. The value of A P is R minus A cos theta plus the value of B P is R plus A cos theta. So therefore, so this is equal to Q divided by four pi upon into the head. So you can take LCM. So on this side it is R plus A cos theta plus on this side it is so minus so minus so minus of R minus A cos theta divided by so multiply this term A minus B into A plus B is A minus B minus B squared. So therefore it is R squared minus A squared cos squared theta. This is the value. So this is the common side. So multiply negative sign. Therefore, this is equal to Q divided by 4 pi epsilon into the bracket R plus A cos theta minus R minus of minus plus A cos theta divided by the value R square minus A square cos square theta. So this is the equation. So plus or minus are the cancel. Remain term is a cos theta plus a cos theta. It is 2a cos theta. So therefore, this is 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon q into 2a cos of theta divided by r square minus a square cos square theta. So this is the value of the electric potential at this point due to the same electric effort. Here is q into 2a is equal to nothing but p. So 1 by 4 pi is not p cos theta divided by r square minus a square cos square t. This is the value of the electric potential at this location due to the same electric dipole. So I will write here. So v is equal to 1 by 4 pi is not p cos theta divided by r square minus a square cos square t. This is the answer of the the value, the value of the potential at this point due to this and electric diode. Okay, this is very important question, very important derivation. It is. So from this equation, we can find potential at any location. Okay, so along the axial line, along the input line, exactly opposite to that diode. Okay, so that we find. So next we see the general equation that is V is equal to 1 by 4000. A cos theta divided by R square minus A square cos theta. This is the equation, general equation for the electric potential at the point P due to the sign electric dipole. So here is the term so important note. So first one is the, the value of the potential, the potential along the axial line, along the axial line. So along the axial line, the value of theta is along the axial means along this side. So theta is equal to 0 degree or 1 AD. So theta is equal to 0 degree or 1 AD degree. So such is the value of theta on this equation. So theta is equal to 0 degree. Therefore, equation becomes 
d is equal to 1 by 4 pi f naught t cos of 0 degree divided by r square minus a square cos of 0 degree square. This is equal to cos 0 is what is the value of cos, uh, cos 0? Cos 90 is 0, cos 0 is 1. So therefore, this is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon t divided by r square minus of a square. This is the one equation. This is the potential along the axis. That is, if the point P is along this side, the value of potential. Okay, so I draw this one. This is the plus P now, so plus 2. If the point P is along this side, if this point P, here the potential value is 1 by 4 plus 1 P divided by R square minus K square. Okay, so similarly, for short dipole, for short dipole. On short, short dipole, the value of uh, r square minus the value of r square minus a square cos square beta is equal to r square. Therefore, b is equal to one by four pi epsilon t. Uh, t cos theta divided by this is in the formula for the short dipole, the value of uh, potential. Okay, similarly for third point, the potential for, for the, the potential, the potential, the potential along the equator line, along the equatorial line, along the equatorial line. Okay. So it could lines the point P should be placed along this side. First one is the point P it is along this side. Okay, this is the potential we find then again if the point if the point P along the equal line is here, here it will be the point P at this location the potential. Okay. So for equator line the value of P line is equal to 90. Therefore, so should that value so V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon P cos of 90 degree divided by a uh, square minus a square cos square 90 degree. So, what is the value of cos 90? Cos 90 is 0, therefore, this is equal to 0. So, these are very important conditions for the electric dipole. So, that is the first one is the along the axial line, along this side. Here, the potential value is 1 by 4 plus 1 p, p divided by r square minus a square. Okay, and if I will uh, give the equations for first one here. The electric potential at this point due to the dipole is 1 by 4 plus 1 p cos divided by r square minus a square cos theta. Similarly, potential along the axial line at this location uh, is 1 by 4 plus 1 p divided by r square minus a square. Along this side, equal to line, the electric potential is 0. These are general very important conditions because only one thing is you have to remember which is along the equal to line the potential is 0 because the potential one is uh, potential due to positive charge it is minus one is due to potential uh, sorry one is due to negative charge potential is minus p and the positive charge is plus p so difference will get zero therefore the potential along the equal line it is zero okay thank you this is the last part okay so next concept is that is electric potential due to system of charges. Okay, so previous one we find the electric potential due to point charge, single point charge. So I uh, another one is the electric potential due to an electric flow at any point. Okay, for example, uh, for single charge means here it is a single charge I draw here. So at any location, for example, single class number. So here is a single charge. I, uh, this is a point P. Here is the number of charges are there, q1, q2, q3, q4, roughly a number of charges are present. And those charges are in a, a distance of r1, r2, r3, up to r in distance. For single charge, we get the value of the electric potential. For example, here is a point P and it is a distance of r1, it is a q1 charge. Due to this charge, here is where we find the value of electric potential. That general B is equal to 1 by 4 person q divided by r1. Okay, that is the one first one. So, I will draw the, uh, in the sentence, consider the charges, consider 
the charges, consider charges q1, q2 should be of two q1 charges at a distance of at a distance of r1, r2, r3 up to rn distance. Okay? So those charges are q1, q2, q3 of two a number of charges, those are at a distance of R1, R2, R3 of two RN charges. Okay. So to find the value of electric potential at P due to single charges. For example, at point P, the potential at point P, the potential at P due to charge, due to charge, that is Q1 is given by is given by. So that is uh, V1 is equal to 1 by uh, 4 by epsilon, 1 by 4 epsilon, Q1 divided by R1, this is equation number 1. So this is generally the electric potential at V due to charge Q1 is given by, so that is V1 is equal to 1 by 4 epsilon Q1 divided by R1. Similarly, and then maybe the, the potential at P, the potential at P due to charge Due to charge Q2 is given by is given by so that is V2 is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon Q2 divided by R2. This is equation number. This is for the second potential. So potential at P due to this charge one, it is first equation. Potential at this point due to this charge it is the second equation. For n number of charges, the potential at P the potential, the potential at P, at P, due to charge, the n number of charges, the n number of charges is Qn, is given by, is given by, so that is Vn is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon Qn divided by R. So this is for the n number of charges. Then next we will find the value of potential. Therefore, the total potential, therefore, the total potential at this location due to these are charges. So therefore, the total potential, the total potential, the total potential at P due to n number of charges due to n number of charges that is according to principle of superposition according to principle of superposition principle of superposition principle of superposition so that is v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus V4 up to plus V this is the value total potential at this location due to the number of charges we can substitute the value of V1, V2, V1 up to Vn okay so therefore total potential that is V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 up to Vn substitute the value of V1, V2, V3 so we have this 1 by 4 by F1 Q1 by R1 plus 1 by 4 by F1 Q2 by R2 plus 1 by 4 by F1 Q3 by R2 plus up to 1 by 4 by F1 Qn divided by Rn. Okay, this is the equation. So again, you can make common outside. It is 1 by 4 by F1 is the common. So that is Q1 by R1 plus Q2 by R2 plus Q3 by R3 up to Qn divided by Rn. So this is general equation. You can take summation of that value. So therefore that summation V is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon summation of I equal to 1 to N of 2I divided by Ri. This is the general equation for the electric potential due to system of charges. These are very important diagram derivations of this topic. Okay, thank you.